<laughs> so, okay, we're back here with the singer. Everybody's together. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff to ask the singer. Zia. She has a name. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Yeah, I did get a chance to try this out. Which one? Yeah. It's like a screen filling bomb. I guess I'll try this out next. Well, I could just take it into the pipe to see what it does. Third I don't know anything about charm, it. Charm, right? Wrong. Ever tell you how the kid got himself wrapped up in this mess to begin with? No, I keep forgetting the gods are enabled. Well, that kind of forces you to stay still for a while. It probably outputs a lot of damage, but... since all this started. It would have to be used wisely. I think I'll, um, stick with warning shot. With final warning. For a little bit. I keep forgetting that it's enabled and I keep getting hit by the little bomb that falls out. If only I'd known half the secrets of the calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. Should I bother spending money upgrading the hammer right now? Uh. No, I think I'll do this. Where am I with the bow, anyway? Not very far along. Yeah, I'll take the best of the musket. You gotta get rid of the recoil. I forgot I had a... what are these things? surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. The memorial. Be a kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Oh, okay. It's just little missions you can complete to get... Dosh. The 
Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. It ain't so easy as it looks. Mementos. I'm not sure what this one means. Whatever it is, there's 13,000 of them. I guess it's just travel and exploration, like it says. Oh yeah, raise the land pieces, the way the, the terrain kind of rises up from the void uh, as you step onto it. And does that mean you have to raise every possible piece of land in the whole game to get this one? I wonder. Different species of beasts, I'm sure that one comes naturally. Three enemies with a single well-placed power shot. Well-timed. Ooh. <laughs> Bold. Okay, so I want to try to go for multi-kills with the bow and the musket. Whoop. Can't be too careful these days. I forgot that can happen in the Bastion. I think I actually have enough money to upgrade the hammer, but I still don't think I want to spend it. No. We tracked the final core beyond the city to the wilds. Yeah, those are hard. Getting the first prize in those two is pretty hard. That's the edge of the wilds, where Jawson and his boys disappeared. So this is the last core, so they say, but I forget how much of the game is actually left. The wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Old pig, rank, old bull. Oh, dueling pistols. You know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Having two. Because the reloading animation is just him spinning the guns. <laughs> Come on now. Savage things lurking at every turn. Oh. Um. Ouch. You'd think pin cushions can't see where they're shooting. Okay, thank you for that health pickup. Damn it, I can't. Yeah, boy. Becker's got the core, like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. We didn't expect the kids so soon. Emma. Oh my god. <laughs> This level is kind of brutal right off the bat. 
Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Wallflowers survive the calamity. Same goes for the kid. Okay, so you can move while firing the twin pistols, so that's pretty cool. And I bet there's an upgrade that lets you move faster. I feel like there must be some significance to the bushes. Maybe not. Best take it real slow when three cushions are afoot. Okay, they give you just enough time to lose the power shot from the bow between rollies. Sometimes. Excuse me. Probably something I'm missing when it comes to fighting these things. Yeah. God, those things suck. Let me try pistols and shotgun. I don't think I have a special skill for the uh, pistols yet. That's a gap? It's kind of hard to spot. Not that accurate at long ranges, for sure. I can probably start moving in. Then kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me, by a little kid. Oh, she is. to make time for stomping swamp weeds. Oh, now what? Oh, gives a wallflower a taste of its own medicine. He's anxious to get back. 
Oh, I see. The window for you to counter that is pretty long, but the projectile comes out at a weird rate of acceleration. Is that the end? Okay. That one was very tough, but very short. Let me just look around some more first. Jawson's boys left all kinds of stuff out here. Whoop. You can probably finish it with something else after it takes the first hit from the counterattack. Yeah, I always seem to think there's some other optional path I haven't explored, but then I uh, don't find one. Too easy to lose one's way out in the wilds. Kid takes a last look around, cause he ain't coming back. Mm. That's weird. Oh. What's that one for? Nice. Does it need two upgrade materials? Because it's two guns, technically? Or are they just... Well, they probably give you... Since this is toward the end of the game, they probably load you up. So you can actually get to the fully upgraded stuff. Wild green pineapples about the only good thing out here. Oh. I guess. The wilds already reclaimed this place. <laughs> Made for a certain weapon. I don't remember what this is. this what's up yeah don't spoil me on what the greasy thing is because I want to experience it for the first time again I should have known you would come in here and After reset all, the place. He's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no. It ain't. Of course not. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. Hmm. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. Mm. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. Damn, I'm really glad I forgot most of what happens in this game, actually. <laughs> Ask about the altercation with Zolf. Are you hurt? What happened back there? Zolf cursed the city. Cursed the Bastion. Cursed me. Said he was going home. I see about the altercation with Zolf. Are you alright? What exactly did Zolf do? When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Oh yeah, none of the... Oh wait, here they are. Never mind. Forget what I was about to say. Uh, well, I can get my drink on, and I can do some upgrading. Oh yeah, I haven't got through, like, 
Well, I only got through about half of the weapons you can unlock. Jeweling pistols. I, uh, I can't seem to remember what my loadout was the first time I played this game either, but I feel like it was probably the pistols and the musket. That's just the type of thing I usually go for anyway. Ammo capacity. I actually might not mind the this one. I guess if I'm using pistols and musket, I should have something that kind of works at long range. Takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. Oh, I don't even have enough money for the next one, that's why. Alright. Nothing subtle about those guns, but maybe yeah. that's the point. Dual decider. Sounds interesting, I'll try that out. I don't know if my skill slot is better served. It's gonna depend on my weapons, I guess, but I don't know if this is better served with something that can clear a bunch of small enemies off of the whole screen, or something that can maybe heal a big enemy in one hit. But it sounds cool, so I wanna try it. I always forget to place the damn core. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a way to put it back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Yeah, I have the soundtrack for this on CD actually, and I have listened to it a couple times over the years. He ain't all that Since shy. playing this game, so I'm in the same boat there. Trying not to, trying not to cry in the car with my cousin on the way back from some trip, listening to um, Zolf's theme again for the first time in a while. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Oh, the dueling pistols, uh, proving ground. Oh, yeah, it's the bastion. Oh, the bog. All right, let's give this a little look. Yeah. The duet. Slinger Range is where the city's quickest pistoliers put themselves to the test. So up until here, the hammer and the shield put in ground fast to survive the wilds, and none thought faster than the slingers. They could shoot their pistols with the speed of a machine. Are the only ones I haven't gotten first prize in yet. <clears throat> yeah, what do I have to do in this one again? They knew just when to start shooting and when to stop. So it reloads automatically. Those pistols could spit out rounds just as quick as you could pull the trigger. Oh, thank you for that advice, actually. That's what I need to be doing. So I'm probably gonna need to take this one again, knowing that. Learning to hold your fire can be its own challenge. I don't want to test it, but I'm guessing I lose points if I fire a shot and it misses. Third prize! Alright, let's try that again. 
reason. The slingers could plug you full of holes faster than you can say draw. Now, now that I know what I'm supposed to actually do, maybe uh, I didn't act, I didn't think to look at the point threshold for the next prize. It usually tells you if you don't get the first one. You usually don't have to be perfect with these to get first prize, so. Like they hit each other Should be fine. Customized pistols. Yeah. Even with the shield one, I think you're allowed to get hit like once and still get first prize. The shift uh, auto aim thing also makes this kind of trivial. Eventually, it all comes down to reflexes. You just need to be good at your mash. Second prize. You always get faster. Seven hundred. I think I have enough materials for all the upgrades on the pistol now. Uh, I don't know if I have enough shards to buy them, but I can go check. Well, even the slingers weren't quick enough to escape the calamity. They usually reward you with upgrade materials for like third prize, so I'm sure they mean for you to uh, go upgrade and come back to try it, to take another try at the other stuff. Nope, I still don't have enough money to upgrade, so I might, I'll give it like one more shot. Let me get one good attempt at this and then I'll have to probably play the actual level and come back when I can afford it. <coughs> Just because you're fast don't mean you gotta be reckless. I saw, the crit I saw the critical hit and I stopped too soon. I think it would be dead already. Yeah. Why don't we... The restart button isn't accessible right now, I don't think. So I'm just gonna have to finish this one out and try again. Dang, that was worse than the last one. Alright, let's give her one more. I even really have to move my mouse to aim when there's only one target on the screen at, at a time? I guess not. Yeah, if you hold shift, which is the block button, it also auto-aims to the closest enemy your cursor is looking at. And if there's only one enemy at a time, I guess it just auto-aims to that, no matter where you're looking. 683, damn. 
All right, that was pretty good. So I might uh, have to get some some of the upgrades before I come back to that. All right. It's shift on keyboard. I don't know what it would be on controller. Yeah, maybe on some of them. Maybe on some of them you do need to be pretty much perfect to get first prize. All right, maybe I'll see you back here another time. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, where am I going? The less said about Joss and Bog, the better. That place will eat your mind. I eat your mind. Where's the guy got to go to get his mind ate? After Zolf's little episode, Kit sets off in search of shards. First stop, Joss and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. You know, I feel compelled to try to pick up every single tile of four that you possibly can just to get that uh, that challenge. Well, the shards can make it better. They're like the small doses of the core's medicine. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is just intoxicating. Can, can I just? Oh, I, re I remember this part being kind of trippy. I think. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good, for all I know. So many of them. Huh. Yeah, pistols are pretty good. Sorry. Oh, instead of the singer. Ish. He's a screamer. Oh no. Pops him good. That was kind of sick. Ah, that sucks. From sick to sucked. Kid can't okay. fall, no matter how hard he tries. That was dumb. I guess I kind of assumed this was the tile I could stand on. I don't know why I felt. Compelled to go stand on it. No nonetheless. man. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas villa. Yeah. What? What did I? What? What do you say to a kid who's seen too much? It must have been. Pushed further back off of this edge than I thought I was. Give me the. It fell. It fell off. Well, I guess I'm not coming back here, so just take the XP. Pleased to make you acquaintance. Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds. Pickers, 
Lucky heads, wallflowers, pin cushions, fine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. Doesn't auto with these things. I guess they're not important enough. Oh. Shoot. What happened? Fellas. Damn it. Damn it. We're a little enclosed here. Oh, frick. Thank you. Alright, I gotta stop exploring. <laughs> I'm just getting myself hoit. Ah, oh, frick. Oh, right, those things release the weird gas when they're destroyed. So I have to clear them out or avoid them. left of the rippling walls, years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff the Bull. The gods, they're all undone. He sees God. what's oh, left geez. of life Stark Link. Friend. Seems like a pretty good strategy. I can't even roll <laughs> in this little area, that's the worst part.
we lost him, but it finally comes to. The shard is lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Uh, Boot lickers stick their nasty thorns into his heels. Stop. What the heck? Alright, I'll just shoot it. It's a freaking spiny from Super things. Mario 3, I think it was the first game I was around. Free or world, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was one of the land games. Of the lung blossom. It's bigger. Wait, than it could have been Mark. It could have been. Doki Doki Panic, actually. Alright, what is this? Fucking pain cushions. Oh, stop! Critical hits. Oh, come on. I hate these things. They say one whiff of lung blossom will make you lose your mind. It prunes it down to size somehow. Oh, weird. It's just this red, like, tracer bullet that slowly advances. Who knows what happened in the bog? Kid never much cared to speak of it. A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. Foundation. I forget what this does. The shards got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Oh yeah, additional upgrade tiers. Let's see. Money to spend on upgrades. Anyway, with the scrap musket, three. Choose. He's made a rack 
comfortable bed for all those bullets. Oh, new slot. Uh, what do I put in it? Red tear stone, right? I'll try this one, I guess. Sip a lunkhead liqueur, it'll toughen you up. Too bad it's like drinking a saddlebag. Yeah, let me actually try equipping the extra damage for this and see if that gets me the first prize for the. The city is where they use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Hmm. Yeah, I think it takes one less shot now. Kind of antsy. Just barely. Yeah, I think the damage buff actually put put it over the top for me. He blew through slinger range like it was nothing. I wouldn't say that's necessarily true. I wouldn't really give it a That was easy. But I guess it kinda was after I did the upgrade. Smoking pipe. Deal. The past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Dude, that one seems pretty good because you're not locked into one place while you're doing it. I think I'll ro try ro rolling with it a little bit. This is looking better already. Rothus Lagoon. Rothus Lagoon. Even the brushes stopped going there. Didn't like being eaten. I would imagine not. Gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Damn it. Kind of blended in. All kinds of beasts would don't know up and down, still lurking about. Huh? 
These beasts, they don't like company. What is it? Yeah, you can counter them with the shield, but it doesn't seem to do much. Wow. <laughs> that guy got some hair. Sneaky deep. These brushes knew their way around the lagoon. Oh, that's one of those things. Hmm. What the shit? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's try that again with something else, maybe. Even the brushers learn to fear this place. Man, I hate these things. to think that ankle gators were extinct. Whoa. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. Oh, delicious. What do you do again? Know what smells worse than an Ankle Gator's breath? The stink weed. Fight Queen Anne with the proper tools. The brushers hmm. use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. What the hell? Well, now I kind of have two close range weapons here. Sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Shoot. He's got a mean throwing arm. Come on. Okay, it's a pretty quick wind up for the for the power shot on this at least. I'd be curious to compare it to the machete. are smart enough to stay out of Queen Anne's way. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Gotcha. There's more stuff over here, though, damn it. <laughs> At least I thought. Uh. He leaves the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass, and he's Queen Anne's lunch. He 
holds his ground, it seems the Queens are running out of options. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kids gotta make a run for it. Those leaping lunkheads don't like Queen Anne any better than a kid. Uh. Bad idea to walk in gator grass. So where do I go? I thought maybe I had to use this to get over that wall, but it just lowered on its own, so... At least on the way down from getting knocked into the air, I started thinking that. Queenie must have scared a bunch of beggars out of hiding. Think weeds know to stay away from the queen. There must be a reason it's there. I kind of oh, there's there's something else there. Okay, I guess we're waiting. Wait. Should I be picking this up? Ankle gators don't much care for their young. Oh. That's why there ain't many around. Decades. It took decades to hatch. It were easy prey. Damn it! Bite. Well, now I guess I need to go pick up this one. Wanna know how to find an ankle gator later? You use a kid as bait. What do I do here again? The shard sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. They say if you run across an angle gator, you better keep running. Well, I can't leave yet. Yeah. She's 
started to get annoyed. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, I'm starting to get annoyed. I wonder which one's gonna be doing more damage. Um, Alright, maybe I didn't just leave. Aha! Yeah. The window to dodge after it starts growling is getting shorter, I think. Oh, it's done. Peace, Queen Anne. That was for the brushes. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. A little birdhouse. Still no mail. Go figure. That gator is a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. I actually might hold on to that for now because it seems useful. The wilds at bay. Pack yourself a musket and a pike. To um. It seems useful against certain types of enemies. Trouble for a single shard, but you know what? It was worth it. Alright, so what do I want to upgrade next? Thinking of the lost and found. A check without committing to doing an upgrade. Oh, I can just. Maybe I should go over to something that I actually spend money. 731. I feel like I should upgrade the memorial so I can get more money. Because I don't have really anything to spend on the other upgraded sores. Oh, that's neat. That might be worth trying out sometime.
Yeah, it unlocks one for the pistols, so that's nice. You gotta spend money to make money, baby! Okay. Well, there's only one more enemy type I haven't seen yet, apparently. Trial of the Gods. Um, 3,000. I guess I can try to knock that out real quick. I have Hiss enabled right now, right? Yeah. Ever tell you how the kid got himself wrapped up in this mess to begin with? Easy one. You can do it on friggin' stationary targets. And he just, of course, auto aim. His mama's hair to the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. Mashing is getting weaker. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Damn it, I hate when that happens. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the era, you name it. Oh, damn it. Just once let a him kid fall. done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Sending home was nowhere to be found either. 
Please don't tell me that killed me. <laughs> Ceylandia, nobody's ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. What? <laughs> he can just push you all the way off from the, from the middle of the arena? How there, kid learned That's to pretty wild. himself. Learn to build, learn to break. Break. In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. The ground beneath them shuddered, cracked, and split apart. Oh, jeez. The arena as a whole is becoming less and less viable. Just like that. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Oh, oh, through he'd... twisted streets, he ran with Threw himself over the edge, yes. crest, and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Damn it. That's what I need right now. Less floor. safe haven. He and no one else. 
Ah, oh, come on. The auto aim isn't helping me very much right now. Thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. Sure, I may be the <laughs> one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion. But the kid made him real, not me. Oh, the friggin' bull. So precarious. Say I'll never forget him or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. for you. said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. Alright, so what can I spend all this money on now? Some more upgrades. That ought to give those dueling pistols a little extra kick. That's right. There's probably still a view ahead. Mm. 
Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. <laughs> we could always see the stars. We just never could reach them. No matter how high we build. I tried to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Said no one else showed up. <laughs> no one was probably meant to be seen at the beginning of the game. should be farther out there in the wild. Oh, the pike uh, proving ground. Let's take a look at that, though. Over there is Camp Dauncey, where the brushers steeled themselves for secret missions. To prepare for the wilds, Ceylandia's brushers practice at Camp Dauncey. Had to navigate a maze of pin cushions with nothing but a pike. They could have made all six switches quickly. Oh. Ow, crap. I can start taking damage before the challenge even starts. Dangerous test for a dangerous job. Huh. Jeez. Health tonics were off limits at Camp Dauncey. They said they made you weak. Baby, let's go. <laughs> I, I'm not actually sure which way I need to go to prize cages. Yeah. 
Well, I got a... Oh, okay, I did that by accident. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. I was like, why did I get a challenge? What was the challenge? You can see why the brushers prized those pikes of theirs. Well, I'll take the mushrooms. They moved in shadows, but the calamity found them. I've asked a lot of the kid, but this is something he's done on his own. I could just upgrade some more stuff to, uh, hang on. How many things do I need to upgrade for that challenge? Five. But the reward is only 2,000 fragments. I mean, the unupgraded weapon is its own reward, I guess. Yeah, I better just keep playing the game. Point Lemayne's Grand Rail once brought the riches of the wild right to our doorstep. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words. Point Lemayne. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. But now, the greatest outpost past the city line is nothing but a freak show. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Hmm. The carbon. Kid might as well pick up when they left off. Blam! Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. That still didn't kill it in one hit. <laughs> oh, I can destroy this? Huh. Maybe not. I started thinking, man, this stuff has a lot of health all of a sudden, and then I remembered I put the whole place shudders in a fit. The uh, Javel The Grand Angles. Rail of Point the Main. Not only is it still there, it still works. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices. 
but he can even kill him. Just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. Oh, come on. He started auto aiming me towards something else, and I stopped blocking in that direction. Oh, get me out of here. Jeez. Grand rails all grown over with things of calamity, chewed up and spat out. Things eager to take back the turf. Jeez, this part's hard with the increased enemy health. Fifty years ago, first shots fired in the Ura Ceylandian War. Oh, come on. A hassle. Right here, that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. What the hell? Well, I tried. Oh, 
Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. The rail must have shook the earth to the bone and the most dens of this. Yeah. Oh, come on. Stop attacking, do they? Well, let me tell you, it ain't fun. Just gotta muscle through this, I guess. Ugh. For this. At first he thinks it's Zulf. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. <laughs> when the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Ugh. <sighs> I think we'll get to the rest of that next time. We get a vague sense of how far I am in the game based, based on how many of the weapons I've unlocked. So, we're more than halfway, I would think. We'll look at all this next time.